with the scores from around the country, uh, both locally and nationally. Your referee today is Alan Young. I'll give you the teams very shortly. Uh, Wednesday kicking from right to left as we look at things in their home strip of the blue and white stripes. Burton in their yellow. And they'll need to support their players today with those injury blows in the week. Mendes Lang far side, header down from uh, Oshilaja, out far side for a Wednesday throw. Hunt will look to take it uh, for the Owls, short into the feet of Bannon. Lovely Great cushion touch. touch out to the right for Hunt, who whips it through the middle. It goes across the six-yard box. It's going to be cleared near side here. Uh, Hamer gets the ball away. Yeah, it's good work down that right-hand side. A dangerous cross that went all the way along the six-yard line. Marvin Johnson was lurking. We've seen how dangerous he is in that position. We have indeed. Great goal against Ipswich uh, last week, and here is Johnson. Spoke to him before the game. It's he a great ball. It towards the back stick, looking for Patterson. It's going to be headed behind far side by Kakolo, and it's a first corner of the game for Sheffield Wednesday. Good minute or so there for the Owls. Yeah, Marvin Johnson again. I mean, that was a, that's a fantastic cross. Here's Bannon with the corner from the far side, whipped in towards the near post, a little stooping header away, Mendes Lang turns it back to the far side, Bannon with a delicious ball in, oh! Patterson, eight yards out, over the top of the bar, and unfortunately just couldn't keep it down, it just went over the top. No, he, I don't think he could get his forehead onto that. Uh, throwing deep in the Wednesday half, on their left with Liam Palmer. 14 and a half gone, still waiting for our first uh, goal in our five uh, local games today. Hold up play by Malt down the middle. Colo far side, uh, Monaco youth. Quite a difference between uh, Monaco and Burton. Here's uh, Oshilaja. Low ball into the area. Loongo will flick it to the edge of the box. Here's Chapman opens up his body, plays it to the right apex. Hamer, he's got an overlapping run here by Hughes. Uh, Chapman can open up his feet and play it towards the back post. Another the corner. Stooping header coming in. It'll be Story. headed behind by Story. Story got the last touch. Uh, Hamer into the feet of Hughes, the 24-year-old looks to the edge of the box, Story is there, Luongo gets the header clear, Shaughnessy down, it's in the middle of the Wednesday half, Maddox goes to ground far That's too great easily, ball. and Barry Bannon will put a delicious pass down the left-hand side here for Nathaniel Mendes, Lang looks to use his power and his pace into the area, can he get his shot away, slightly overruns it, slightly oh. high boot in the box, so a free kick goes against him, but uh, that's what you want to see from Nathaniel Mendes, Lang. Yeah, that pace and the power that he's got. And I have a Patterson head over the top after eight yards as the one moment of note that has been worthy of making the pad so far. That's good play from Wednesday. Yeah, Hunt's from Byers, far side. Hunt will drive Jack. to the area. Hunt will put it into the middle. Patterson's there on the slide. Couldn't get a toe end on it. Ben Garrett will claim it. A good moment from Wednesday. Yeah, for once, everything opened up and Jack Hunt exploited it. He's galloped down that right-hand side. Patterson only a yard away from towing that into the uh, net. When's he going to come again here with Mendes Lang near side? Shows too much of the ball uh, for Sam Hughes. Nothing Clean to aim away. for. Here's Marvin Johnson, just Patterson in the area. Johnson's going to drive towards the byline, pulls it into the middle. Good low ball. It's blocked at the heart of the backline by John Brayford, the skipper. Here's Byers. Byers with a reverse pass to the edge of the Might area. Maddox with a flick beyond. It's going to be a corner kick to Sheffield Wednesday. Third of the half, first from this near side. Round the ground shortly. Football heaven on BBC Radio Sheffield. 13 and a half to go in the opening 45 at the Pirelli. Wednesday have a corner near side. Floodlights are on. Overcast day. Gloomy day. Bannon back to Mendes Lang. To the byline. Mendes Lang across the middle. He's blocked. Oh, turned in by George Byers. Byers. Two in two for him. Not the spectacular effort we saw in the week, but a huge goal in itself. It was a good corner routine near side into the middle. The Brewers players complain, but a first uh, real moment in front of goal for Sheffield Wednesday. 13 minutes before the break, the Owls lead at the Brewers. Burton Albion nil, Sheffield Wednesday one. Maddox up to the edge of the area will strike it low. Bailey Peacock throw will save. Here's Luongo, edge of the centre circle. Luongo into the path of uh, Mendes Lang on the left hand side. Mendes Lang got uh, Hughes to beat. Steps over two, three, four times well done, will win well a corner. Done. Gets a corner. Can Wednesday take a 2-0 lead into the break? 
We'll see the uh, board very shortly. Here comes Mendes Lang, hits it with pace into the box. It's going to be towed forward by Story. How has he I'm not saved sure that? how that is stopped by Garrett. Either side of him, and that's in. One minute of added on time to be added. Wednesday really should be 2 0 up. Back at the club where he finished his playing career. Burton looking to build in the middle of the Wednesday half. Here's Chapman, the Blackburn low knee, uh, dinks the ball towards the edge of the box. Byers can only clear as far as Maddox. It's going to be put out to the far side. Burton have to turn the ball back to halfway and Hughes, the former Leicester man, Chance is going here. to lose out. And Wednesday on a four-on-four, four, played Schwab. on the left-hand side. Find Nathaniel Mendes lying, racing towards the edge of the area. Patterson is free in the Can't middle. Great interception in the middle at the back there. Brayford, the skipper. 0800 triple one 49 49. Love to speak to you uh, this evening. React to today's games. React to the Blades win last night against Birmingham. Love to get your calls Good in. Skill. Brilliant Great skill, skill here by Johnson. We'll pull it into the box. There's going to be a turn in the box and just turned over. It was Luongo who was in there. Excellent pivot and balance from the Australian. Just couldn't keep his <laughs> shot down. No, needed to keep that one down. I mean, that's second decent opportunity. That was a little bit harder, I think. Uh, Strength from Powell. Helps it away from Patterson and Baden. That's Here's a decent ball. Borthwick Jackson down the left. Chapman looking to take on Story, but he's strong in the tackle. But picking up the seconds is William Cocolo. Here's Chapman working in from the left hand side. Feeds it into Powell. Powell will drill it, but there's a good block in the middle Palmer. by Liam Palmer. Cleared away. Uh, back into the mix by Connor oh, we'll Shaughnessy. George Byers. Byers needs to be we'll aware of his caught. man behind him. Little one two here. Uh, Fabulous tackle by Kokolo, then Luongo goes in strong to Kokolo, the referee happy for play to continue. Uh, in the end, Jack Hunt has fouled his man on the edge of the box, so uh, a couple of tackles being allowed to go in there. Here comes the free kick from Powell, lofted down the right side. Uh, back there is Hutchinson, Borthwick Jackson on the edge of the box. Powell far side, but he's given the ball away. Uh, Marvin Johnson tries a, a Maradona spin far side. Can he get it? Here's uh, Nathaniel Mendes line coming out. Garrett comes out, takes his man out. Well, whether there's covering defenders in there. He's going to get away with that because it's so wide. The referee will definitely pull out his uh, yellow card here. He's, yellow. he's going to give him a yellow. He's calling the uh, keeper back to him. I think, well, Ben Garrett. Silly, because he's wasting time for his side here. He came racing out of his area. It is a yellow card. It's a, a professional foul, but uh, not deemed to be uh, reckless. Wednesday down the left. Marvin Johnson will race onto this. Cambere and uh, So will make their way into the air. It's played into the oh, middle. So at the back post, a huge touch it. by Gar Garrett, the keeper. Oh, had to get it. Coming across here, Patterson uh, with a little push in the back on uh, Cocolo. Well, what a ball into the area. <laughs> ball downfield Somehow. by uh, Garrett. It wasn't enough. Little flick it, header backwards. Chapman is through here for Burton. Peacock Farrell with a vital block. Here's Maddock on the edge of the area. Ball in from the right hand side. Well Peacock done. Farrell again. And out of nothing there, just a little moment at the back for Wednesday. The ball broke for Chapman one-on-one, -on -one, and big credit to Bailey Peacock-Farrell. Stand by Cameron, Tom and Paul will be back round the grounds very shortly for some updates on the Millers, Rovers and Spyrites. Uh, Barnsley still trail by a goal to Huddersfield in the fourth round of the FA Cup. That's on digital radio. Chance. Here's Bannon just inside the box! Yes! What a Barry goal. Bannon, the Wednesday skipper! You don't need to give him any space in the box! The Brewers' defence opened up and Barry Bannon, he kicks the hoardings, he runs oh. over there to talk and celebrate in front of the away end. Bannon will score Score. An excellent finish from him. A deflection on the way through. For Bannon, it's a fourth goal of the season. He scored at Oxford in the last game. He scored today. And with nine and a half to go, the Owls are on for a third straight victory for the first time since August. Burton nil, Sheffield Wednesday two. Fantastic work. Marvin Johnson down that left-hand side. He's been terrorising them for the last 10, 15 minutes. Here come Burton to the edge of the area. Bannon with a sliding tackle in. It's going to be drilled towards oh. goal and smashed off the post by Sadie. Still alive for Burton here. Ball into the area. It's going to be flicked towards goal. Sadie at the second attempt. Peacock Farrell once again in oh, on Hamer. Great goalkeeping, Peacock Farrell. 
We got away with that. There was an appeal for a penalty. The referee didn't give. The shot came in. It cannoned against the post. Southampton Coventry has gone to extra time. That finished one all at 90 in the FA Cup. Chapman, low ball towards the near post. It's going to bobble around in the centre. It's going to be struck towards goal here by uh, Hadme, the sub. Cleared away by Wednesday. Turn back down the left hand side by Chapman. Chapman deep towards the back stick. Brayford coming in. Edge of the area for Hamer. Strikes it. Horrible miss yeah. proves near side, but gives it straight to Chapman. Chapman into the box. Off the back of Hunt. We've got two minutes of the eight added left. Ball down the left hand side. Chapman looks to drive in field. Clearance away by Palmer up towards halfway. You'd have thought Wednesday have seen out the victory now. It's a case of keeping that clean sheet. Powell towards the back stick. Full time Chesterfield have beaten Dagenham and Redbridge by two goals to one. Two Kabishimanga at penalties there for the Spyrites. Full time reports to follow here on Football Heaven ahead of praise or grumble. 0800 triple 49 49. Get your calls in now. Oops. Johnson. Well, that's going to be a booking. Big tackling <laughs> on the who's... far side. I don't know who's done it, but uh, that's going to be a yell at. 30 seconds of the eight minutes of stoppage time left. Can Wednesday preserve this third clean sheet in a row? Powell into the box towards goal. Peacock Farrell is there. Didn't quite get a touch on it. I'm not sure who it deflected off. Brennan gets uh, in between the ball. Not like a foul in the back by Hamer. It's not given. And the play goes on. Here's Chapman. Whips it into the box. Big header away from the back by Brennan. Flick header backwards by Hughes. That's the eight minutes gone. Cleared downfield by Palmer. All eyes towards Alan Young, the uh, official. Big week this would be for Sheffield Wednesday. Garrett out far side. There, there is the full-time whistle. Jubilant away and near at the Pirelli Stadium. Sheffield Wednesday seal three wins in a row in a week. The first time they've recorded three wins in a row since August. Three clean sheets in a row as well. It keeps the pressure on the top six in League One.